Have you all enjoyed it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. It has been snooker, definitely for the purest. This is what we expected. But Milk is going to have to stop producing it as well. Hang on. Oh, wow. That was nearly unbelievable. That nearly went the whole length of the table into the yellow pocket. 48. Oh. <laughs> well, it might be a turning point but that would have been probably the most incredible pot in Crucible history had it gone in. <laughs> Selby has potted the pink and is that the end of play it seems. He needs to get back on track. Oh. <laughs> well, can you believe it? <laughs> CJ Wee misses the red and then instead of putting him back in again, he plays the same shot and misses the red. <laughs> Incredible. A moment of light relief. So boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, no. always missed it. Mark Allen for. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> oh, that's nice to see. this championship so we're just joining in Alan and he's got it <laughs> well this time it's Mark Allen's turn to get the snooker back A tremendous break, it really has. Well played, well played, look at this crucible crowd, love it, look at this. Not bothered about the black. Superb break of 108, he's even forgotten it's a mid-session interval. But at least he's got a frame on the board, and that was more like it from Luca Brussel. He's enjoying the moment out there. Cijar Wee leading Luca Brussel by 14 frames to six. It's been an exhibition. Mark, John just came off air and said, you are an absolute animal. He was <laughs> full of praise, full of respect. He just said you're impossible. What kind of animal? Uh, an impressive one who's, impos <laughs> who's impossible to play against in that kind of form. That, that is, a, that is a, great, um, a great affirmation from a wonderful champion. I'm sure if that hadn't been in them. <laughs> Leo Scully isn't. Yeah. Not unless they replay it. I can't okay. tell him that. You walked in front of him. Yeah, can Maybe I it didn't. It on that? Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't clearly see a foul, so I can't call it. You didn't clearly see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's floated in the middle. Just missed the pink that allowed it to go straight into the middle. Nice no, drifted. It's drifted. 
Well, no wonder he looks around. That really drifted. Well, he can laugh about it. And even Selby, look at this. He thought it was in, he was walking away. It's going to the far side of the pocket, but then it just drifts over. The Welsh Open title in such fine style in February. He's been a grafter for his entire career, and he'll go for it this morning. He's a cider drinker, but we call him the milkman. Robert Milkins. <laughs> and as if by magic, it's the gentleman Joe Perry. Foul. See Joe we four. <laughs> and the fray. My top ten snooker players of all time. Number one, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Number two. <laughs> Number two, Steve <laughs> Hedge. Number three, John Higgins. Number three, John Higgins. Wait for it. Oh. There was one a bit like that in the first session. Anthony McGill closes his eyes. Overly significant. Again, Anthony reverts to a bit of Zen-like meditation. Well, I think a toilet break has been requested here. Mark Allen needing to needing to leave the arena, just adding to the drama, so they're going to stop the clock. And in fact, Jack Jones is also going to go out. This doesn't help the, the prospect of the match actually concluding in this session. It's quite a lengthy frame. Look at that, 26 minutes, and still a lot of snooker left to play in this frame. But can't be helped. When you've got to go, you've got to go. In it goes. No. <laughs> it looked in on the way. It's the nap of the cloth, but when you said that, I thought, yeah, you're absolutely right. It turned left the last minute, didn't it? Amazing, that was. And he's missed again. Extraordinary. What's happened to that pocket and what's his take on it? Front row so close. You can have a chat with them, but you shouldn't really do it. And he's offering his cue to the gentleman. Well, you know, Sullivan coming back to have a few shots. It's not often you'd see O'Sullivan do that. One. But that was a blitz from Luca Brussel. 11 seconds a shot. Break of 93. Well, he got the frame one in under six minutes. It was as far as the point where O'Sullivan was never going to try and win the frame again, Eight. obviously. <sighs> Look at this. I need to be tall, he says. You need to be about seven feet tall, I think, to play this. Foul. Oh, yeah, and he fouled it. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Now, where's this red going? It needs to keep running. Well, what a fluke that is from Ricky Walden. Again, caught the red what? much, much too thinly. Now, have a look at this. He's playing half ball off the pack here. Caught it so thin, and had this red not dropped, Luke had been right in amongst them. He's... <laughs> 